At the time, it was, I would say it was probably, when it happened, I was like incredibly jazzed about. It was, I was a huge, um, you've got to remember, this was about 1975, and um, I was a huge Jack Nicholson fan then. And, and a lot of people were, but he wasn't, cool as you know, he hadn't reached the pinnacle yet, because this was still back in 75. But I had seen Five Easy Pieces and Easy Rider and The Last Detail, basically. Those are the films, and King of Marvin Gardens. And I, I just thought he was the greatest. And they were shooting Chinatown at Paramount. And I heard, found out about it. And um, when I had a break, I was in wardrobe and everything. I went over. It was a close set, but I just went over and I walked in. And there they were shooting, Roman Polanski, and you know, shooting Chinatown. And people looking at me like, who's this guy and all that? And, I was, and then I saw Jack, and I was like, oh, man, there's Nicholson, you know? And I was like, I was just in awe. And then what happened was that all of a sudden they broke for lunch, and I figured, oh, well, you know, that's it. And I started walking around, and, and all of a sudden he came around to Ben, and he, there it was, just him and I, and he saw me. And I think he just picked up on the fact that I was, like, dying to meet him or something. And, and he sat there with me and talked for, like, about 20 minutes, you know, about acting. And, and I was just, that was it for me, you know. Did he know who you were at that point? I don't know. I don't know if he knew that I, I think he knew I was an actor. He knew I was an actor because I was more drove and I was working, but we never talked about, we never talked about what I was doing and it never came up. So I have no idea whether he knew. But at the time, you know, I was just so in awe of him. Still, he's my, he's probably my favorite actor, you know. And um, getting to sit there at that point in time and discuss acting with him and his, and his films and everything, th that um, was it for me, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. That's experience. That was a great, yeah, I really, that really was a highlight for me. Of course, you know he was on the Andy Griffith show a bunch of times. Yeah, I knew it once. I didn't know a bunch of times. Yeah, like two or three times. Yeah. <laughs> During the period when he was having a very hard time finding work yeah. as an actor, he was, he'd pr just about given it up, you know. It's quite a genius. The fact that he would sit there for you, with you, though, for such a long time. Yeah, it was, it was, um, you know, he just, I think he picked up on it, and, and they, they had a time, a little time off, and I think he's, he was just, that's one of the things that I think makes him such a great actor is, you know, who he is as a person, the way he, he's so present, you know, he's just so in the moment. <laughs>